Uh, right now, ten past seven, it is BBC Radio Lancashire. Uh, as well as nurses, doctors are on the front line treating patients with COVID-19, and particularly doctors working in emergency medicine. We've all heard about the problems with the lack of specialist protective equipment for NHS staff dealing with infected patients. But how bad is it? Dr Catherine Henderson is the president of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine and joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning, Graham. How concerned are you about this? How short of equipment are your members? I think the problems that there have been with kit are now getting sorted. Certainly where I work, and I'm in central London, where we are extremely busy, we've got the kit that we need. This has been a really difficult logistic problem. I think now it's getting out to the places that need it because it's not just hospitals. It's been social care and primary care that have needed the kit. And there was new guidance that was published yesterday that will give a lot of reassurance to healthcare professionals that they've got the kit that they need, that the guidance is clear. And it recognises that there's a lot of this around and that you can't always tell exactly who's got it, um, and so that you can be wearing a sensible level of protection that will keep both the healthcare worker safe and the patient safe. It is the issue, because we're talking about the sheer number of, of, of kits here, because after you've worn it once, you can't wear it again. And is it, is it just a constant uh, stocking up of, of, of all this stuff? I mean, that's absolutely right. There is this incredible volume of stuff that is needed. And some of the thing, good thing about the guidance is it's you don't actually have to chuck it away between, for between every patient. There are some bits of kit like the visors, which there's a proper cleaning regime for them and you can use those again. And that's incredibly reassuring because it's a, it's a shield for your face. And that's one of the areas that's often going to be nearest the patient. And so that gives a huge amount of reassurance to staff that they know that they can legitimately clean something properly and then use that kit again. And I think that clarity over the kit will mean that we'll be able to move on from the great kit issue. Uh, you say you're talking to us from London uh, and London, we're told, is two or three weeks ahead of the rest of the UK. J just how busy is it in hospital? It's right? really busy. It's really, really busy. And yes, we are ahead of, of other bits of the UK or some places are beginning to catch up. And that's incredibly important. Um, because we need those other hospitals that haven't yet been hit by the number of patients can use that time to learn the lessons of London, really prepare themselves, really get all their kit in place so that they're absolutely ready to go when lots of patients start coming. But also you should see the benefit of the stay at home, the lockdown, in that the mm. transmission outside London may then be um, lower and that may actually give the NHS a chance to sort of catch up in other places it's really important that everybody does, although it's, I know it's incredibly difficult doing this self-isolation thing, social distancing, staying at home. You know, the weather's going to be nice, but staying in is the yeah. right thing to do. What's your view over the problems over testing? You know, how desperately needed is it to test more NHS staff? It's going to be really helpful to test more NHS staff because there are rotors that are short because of, of members of staff who are having to self-isolate or be quarantined because, say, a member of their family has got symptoms. And if we could find out whether either the member of the family or somebody with symptoms has actually got it, we could get them back to work. But obviously, a bunch of those people are actually going to have the virus, so it's been absolutely the right thing that they have been off. So it's not going to mean that everybody suddenly gets back to work. So it's really important to get the testing. The most important thing has been to get patients tested. And I think that we're pretty confident is happening now. But the sooner we can get staff testing, yeah, we're, we're absolutely keen for that to happen. Lovely. Uh, Catherine, uh, thank you for the work that you're doing and thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks very much indeed. That is Dr Catherine uh, Henderson, who is the president of the Royal College of Emergency Medicine. Yeah, we, you hear that London is two or three weeks ahead of where we will possibly be and if you are going to work in any of our hospitals any of our big hospitals or little ones all across lancashire have a safe day today and the work that you are doing is amazing